Good evening. I'm in the library working late, looking for some solid information. Shh! Me, Riverella, digging deep. If you need to get facts on definitions, encyclopedias and dictionaries are your best bet. And guess what? I'm going to show you how to cite these babies. Let's start with dictionaries. When definitions of terms are quoted from a dictionary, you need to cite it. There's a wide variety of dictionaries. Some have editors and compilers. Others are written by a single author. And then, of course, there are online dictionaries and dictionary apps. Each of these need to be referenced differently. I've found a definition for OCD in the second edition of the APA Dictionary of Psychology. As you know, I'm totally fixated on referencing. The editor of this dictionary is Gary R. Vandenbos. The publication date of the dictionary is 2015. The title is APA Dictionary of Psychology. Remember, this title should be typed in italics. This is the second edition of the dictionary, and the publisher is the American Psychological Association. According to the seventh edition of the APA Publication Manual, you no longer need to include the publisher location in the reference entry. And there you have it, the entry in the reference list, with the help of the four W's. Vandenbos, GR, The Editor, 2015. APA Dictionary of Psychology, 2nd Edition, American Psychological Association. This is an example of a text reference within a sentence. The APA Dictionary of Psychology defines obsessive-compulsive disorder as an anxiety disorder characterized by recurrent obsessions and compulsions that are time-consuming. Vandenbos, 2015. When it comes to referencing, sounds like me, right? Dictionaries with editors or compilers, where each entry is written by a different author, are treated the same as collected works. Refer to my collected works video for more information. Dictionaries with authors are referenced similarly to books. Watch my video on referencing books to find an example. To reference an online dictionary or dictionary app, just apply the same rules for printed dictionaries. Give the precise internet address of the dictionary and give the date of access. This is an example of an online dictionary reference list entry. Give the precise internet address of the dictionary and also give the retrieved date if the dictionary is being updated from time to time. This is an example of a reference to a dictionary app. The reference includes the word mobile application in square brackets. Now for encyclopedias. Usually encyclopedias are compiled and edited by editors with various expert contributors writing the different sections. The entry in the reference list will look like that of a chapter in a collected work. This is an example of an encyclopedia. The author who wrote the article about modern drama is J. Conte Morgan. The date of the encyclopedia is 2003. The editor of the Encyclopedia of African Literature is S. Gikandi. The page numbers of this article are page 332 to page 336. It is published by the publisher Routledge. Note that the place of publication is not mentioned in the entry. Put it all together and this is the entry in the reference list. Conte Morgan, J. 2003. Modern Drama. In S. Gikandi. The Editor. Encyclopedia of African Literature. Pages 332 to 336. Routledge. The text reference, of course, can look like this. Encyclopedias are also available online and very easy to reference. Just follow the basic rules of the four W's and you'll get it right. 
Don't make the mistake of thinking that dictionaries and encyclopedias are out of fashion. Use and reference them. Shh! They give credibility to your work.